All right, what's up guys? Minnesota Sneaks here, back with a new video. You know what, actually, hold on. That's a little better. Make sure I'm focused. Welcome back to Minnesota Sneaks. We haven't uh, made a uh, video in like two weeks, so I apologize for that. We've been really busy. School's been starting to kick off here, and it's been kind of just hard to get videos up. But um, today's gonna be a video on my personal experience with Road to Dunking. I just saw this from Jester the Laser, and I thought it kind of looked like a cool idea I should probably share. Um, so I'm gonna show you like all my progress from like before I could dunk, like dunking like tennis balls and um, like dodge balls and stuff to like me dunking the first time, which was actually on film. And then I'm gonna show you like um, like my progress from like that moment, which is like a year ago. So the first uh, video I'm gonna show you uh, was like from February 2015 or 20, I think it was 2016. Um, and it was me dunking with like a dodge ball and like a tennis ball. Here's just like a quick uh, couple of clips of me dunking with uh, the, the dodge ball here. As you can see, I, I had no hops or anything like back then. I wasn't working out regularly, and um, and it was like right after basketball season, so I, like I kind of still had the jumping ability, but I wasn't able to get like I couldn't do a girls' ball or whatever. So it was just really hard to do it. So um, that was me with the dodge ball, and um, I think I showed tennis balls one in there too. So the next dunk is actually the first time I dunked with a guys' ball. No, I hadn't dunked since February, like actually like trying to do it, and this was like randomly. So I was with Nolan, so the other guy that runs the channel with me. Basically, it was like last September in 2016, and I decided that I wanted to go out. I was like watching videos on my computer and I was watching videos like people dunking. I'm like, you know, this sounds fun. So I'm gonna, I like move the hoop down to like nine feet. I'm like, you know what, see how far I can go. So I just kept going and going and going and going. And um, I was just like hitting everything. I'm like, okay, I need to get the vlog camera out. So I was starting to vlog a little bit and then um, Nolan actually got 10 feet on film. So here's me just dunking like from the vlog. My reaction is a little bit weird in that. Um, I don't know. I was I was like really like star. Like I, I didn't believe myself that I actually did that because it was like the first try, um, and it had been weird because I had just started school. So it was just the most random day that I just decided to go do that. The next day it was Monday, and I went out and um, I actually dunked my first alley oop. So I'm gonna put that here. It's really really bad though. Like it's really bad. Like this is also in one of my vlogs last year, and I like. It was just so horrible to watch. It's not an alley oop, but it, it looks, it's okay, I guess. Quick, hey! Oh, he actually dunks it. Oh, that one was good. After I dunked my first time, it was kind of getting to basketball season. So um, after that, I kind of, I was just like, kind of just doing it. I was getting in shape, so it was really easy to dunk after that. Um, well, it wasn't really easy. It was just like easier and it was a little bit more comfortable. So I'm going to show you a clip from like during a season, like pregame warm up that I like posterized somebody. I don't even consider it being posterized because it, it was like underneath the backboard because I couldn't dunk that day and it was really bad and I didn't have any leg strength um, last season. So I'm going to show you that clip right now. After basketball season ended, I decided not to do uh, track and field as a sport in the spring. I decided to focus on basketball entirely. So I started working out in the spring and um, I just wanted to get my legs really big to be able to dunk a little better and like not have to put so much effort into my shot form or whatever. So it actually worked out really well. Um, I'm gonna show you just like a couple clips that I found from um, like the spring of last year. Um, one's from May, I just randomly found on my phone, I don't even have it on, I didn't even know I had it. And it's just me dunking in slow motion again. Um, so just, yeah, here's one. Now once I got to the summer, I stopped working out for some reason, but I was still like pretty like limber and I was still able to dunk pretty well. Um, so I went on, I didn't dunk, I was just kind of playing basketball like the whole month of J June and July and I just was kind of like shooting around, just dunking, like playing with my dad and stuff. Um, I came, I went to Nashville for a week in July. I came back and I was just like on fire. Like I hadn't put really played basketball for like a week or whatever. So I came back and I started just throwing it down. A couple days after school started, I asked my dad to do it again, to just to record me to see like my progress and stuff. So um, here's just another couple of clips of me dunking off two or two feet, and then just one foot and one hand, two hands, whatever. Um, and at this point, I think this is the time where I started actually hanging on the rim, and I hadn't done that before. Uh, I wasn't really comfortable with like how high I was jumping or whatever. So um, I, this is like the first time I actually like hung on the rim, which is crazy.
And that is the only clips I have uh, at this point in my dunking journey right now. I'm gonna be trying to get more and more series out as this kind of goes on. Um, I'm still working my legs out a ton right now and um, it's gonna start getting colder outside so I'm gonna try to do these in the gym. Um, and I'll just try to like have people record me to see my progress and maybe make another one of these videos um, in the next couple months or whatever before basketball season. And hopefully um, get you guys a couple clips of me dunking during basketball season. Um, which is gonna be pretty cool in varsity and stuff. So if I get one of those, um, I made a deal with my dad. If I dunk any time in a varsity game, I get Curry fours. Last year it was 20 points and I got that. So um, for Curry threes. But this is gonna wrap the video up, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Minnesota Sneaks, yeah, we out.